Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be playing a full game of Lissandra and commentating in a Grandmaster game and hopefully teaching you guys how I play Lissandra and how maybe you guys can, you know, maybe learn some tips. Uh, also, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, hi, my name's Eric and I stream almost every day. So if you guys want to chat with me live or, you know, talk with me, watch the games live, or if you want to join any of my other social medias in my Discord, that's all in the description. Uh, we are playing Lissandra with a Skarner jungler, and their jungler is Kha'Zix, and we're laning it against a Twisted Fate. So, I think Lissandra actually is pretty decent right now. I would say that she's more of a counter pick, although I did blind pick her this game, so I picked her in a blind pick situation. I think she's really good into champs like Le LeBlanc, um, Fizz, and other champions that are just generally pretty good in the meta right now, because I'd say the meta is pretty assassin heavy. So I think if you want to learn Lissandra, now is a pretty good time. Um, I'm also going to be going a special build with her where I'm going to be rushing Imperial Mandate as my first item, which is a support item. However, it actually works pretty well with Lissandra's kit, because the way that it works is that your abilities that slow or immobilize a champion deal additional damage and mark them, and when an ally pops that mark, it deals even more damage. So Lissandra is interesting because other champions that, you know, use Imperial Mandate in the mid lane typically need Rylize alongside it, kind of like Aurelian Soul. But since Lissandra's abilities mostly CC without Rylize, you don't really need it. So you can skip out on the Rylize and get the Imperial Mandate Power Spike all that earlier. So I'm going to be doing that, and we're going to be doing our best. So the jungler is Kha'Zix and the enemy laner is Twisted Fate. Um, what that tells me is that Kha'Zix is a jungler who he doesn't really gank mid that much, right? He, uh, he wants to scale up, he wants to get level 6, he wants to get his first item, and then he really starts doing work. But early game, he really doesn't do too much. Skarner... I'm not gonna lie, I don't see Skarner jungle very often. I don't see Skarner very often, period. But, I think Skarner's a champion who actually is pretty decent at dueling early game. I don't think he really likes to gank that much early either, though. Especially mid lane, I don't typically think he ganks. Um, so really, Twisted Fate and me, what we're doing here is we're mostly just farming, doing the classic mid lane dance, just farming together. Um, you know, trying to push the wave in whenever we need to. I think that it's important for me to push the wave in when I need priority, right? So priority, what it is, is it's your ability to rotate to a play faster relative to the enemy laner. So um, what I want priority for in this lane, for example, is I want it when Scuttle Crab spawning. Because if I'm able to push the wave in and be able to rotate to a Scuttle Crab play before Twisted Fate, it would make the difference between actually like winning the game and losing the game. So it doesn't really matter right now that I'm not shoving the wave, but it's going to matter pretty soon because Scuttle Crab spawn at around 3 minutes and 15 seconds. So I'm going to start trying to shove in the wave as best as I can right now. Lissandra historically has been a very good wave clear champion. They've like buffed and nerfed her Q so many times, like the cooldown just to kind of tone down and buff her wave clear. But recently they buffed it, so her wave clear is actually pretty good. The Twisted Fade is also a very good wave clear champion. I would argue Twisted Fate is one of the best wave clear mid laners right now, actually. TF is insanely strong right now. You go Rocket Belt on that champion, you literally just, you know, pop off. So yeah, TF is shoving me in. Uh, it's really hard for me to kind of push back right now, actually. But on the bright side, we know Kha'Zix went top lane, so we know that uh, there's not going to be a Scuttle Crab fight because my Skarner is going for Bot Crab, which is uncontested. Okay, gonna go into CS. Me and Twisted Fate also both took TP. So that's another thing we need to note. Uh, my TP is going to help a lot mid game when Twisted Fate goes for like an ult play or something. My TP is going to help us rotate there and maybe turn the tide of the fight. And also, happy December everyone! Today, um, you know, is December 1st at the time that I'm recording this video. So of course we got our Santa hat on and we're playing the Ice Queen herself, Lissandra. And I hope you guys have an amazing December or are having an amazing December, even though it's literally the first day. Um, let's have a great month guys, okay? Good kill bot lane. So TF's missing, he recalled and he teleported back mid. So that's really good for me because it means... Um, what it means is that when he goes to make a play around the map, the only spell he's going to have is his ult, right? And I'm still going to have my TP, unless I use it right here. Let me think. Am I going to use my TP right now? Mm, probably not. Oh, you see, if I recalled earlier, I would go for a TP right here. Oh, I think he said though. Yeah, that's actually worth it. Alright, so I'm going to use my TP to actually go mid lane now, kind of to match TF here. Mm, let me see what the wave's looking like. Yeah, I don't want to miss out on the whole wave, so I'm going to have to TP here. Um, that's fine, although I'm not going to have any way to kind of rotate alongside TF in like a team fight. 
or when he goes for an ult, what will happen is that I can follow him and cancel his ult with my with my W or my ult. Okay, we got Skarner coming. I'm gonna flash W him right here. He's flashing. If I land my Q, oh, he's probably dead now. Cool. All right, he's dead. He's dead. Nice. We got him. We got him. Uh, that was really good. So Lissandra's Q actually slows if it's the first target you hit, right? So I was able to get that final Q off, and then we were able to get the slow. Um, very good. Lissandra is one of the best champions at setting up ganks mid lane. She is primarily a CC champion, so she likes junglers that do a lot of damage. Skarner is also kind of a CC champion, so it's kind of weird that we're like two CC champs. Oh, this would be really good. If Skarner was still lurking around this, like over this area, I would go for like an ult on this Kha'Zix right here and we just kill him. Okay, I'm gonna go for this play. This is kind of scary though because um, Twisted Fate could potentially like ult behind me and Kha'Zix rotates too, and then it's kind of bad. All right, I broke their pink though. That's pretty nice. I don't, it's kind of weird they had a pink ward in that bush at six minutes, but you know, sure. So I have a kill now. We know exactly where Kha'Zix is too, but I'm going to ping my bot lane because Twisted Fate is level six and he wants to, you know, kill people. And I don't want him to kill people. So let me ping, he's missing. Uh, he doesn't really have anywhere to gank right now though. So that's good for me. Oh, Skarner's coming, nice. Very good that Skarner's coming too because I have my ult. Oh, he ghosted. All right. Well, he had to use his ghost. That's good. That's good. He has spell books, so he has a uh, you know the ability to use a lot of summoning spells. Seems like he's looking to ult here. Okay, nope. Yeah, they're they're poor set. They're like focusing this set so hard. Does he have flash? No. Yeah, I was like, I don't think we can kill this guy if he doesn't have a. Yeah, if Skarner doesn't have flash, I would prefer to not really do this. Yeah, Karma's going there though, so I'm gonna kind of chill and help him. Let's see if we can get her flash. Okay. I might have been able to get the kill there if I would have like uh, pressed that harder by like eing forward and ulting. Potentially we could have, but then also we could have gotten collapsed on by Malphite and Kha'Zix, so it's probably better we went for this April play, right? All right, we got more gear now too. Uh, I don't really have mana, that's the problem. No, he lives, that's so lame. I actually didn't have mana for it. Feels so bad. I can't believe he just ulted out of there. I mean, on the bright side though, he can't really ult and like make a play now, right? And his TP is like relatively, the cooldown of his TP is like 30 seconds, you know, before mine. Ooh, as much as I'd love to help you, uh, Morgana, I kind of can't. Yeah, I'm gonna just walk up super hard. He wants to show off the wave. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna freeze the wave on him then. No pun intended, because you're Lissandra. But yeah, I'm gonna freeze the wave right here. So if he recalls, he misses out on a whole entire wave. So you can freeze the wave how like I'm doing right here. You kind of lead it towards the side. And what that's gonna do is since he wants to recall, right? Because he's so low, he can't stay in lane. No flash, no summoners, no anything. Leaving these three minions here makes it so that all of his minions are going to go and kill mine now. So he misses this whole entire wave. I don't have mana for me to be able to shove the wave out completely um, and get it crashing under his turret. So this is the best thing that I could do. So these minions now, since he has more minions than I do, they're going to go and kill mine and he's going to miss out on an entire wave. And that's actually very big because look, I'm already a level up on him. So it makes the EXP gap even bigger. And my wave's in a good spot. So we can also even ping maybe Skarner to come. So he missed maybe like four to five minions, and now looks Skarner's coming too. Okay, I'm gonna go for my ult right here. And we want you wanna chain your CC on Lissandra, right? So you don't want to W right when you ult, you want to wait for uh you know your ult CC to be over with. Okay, cool. Just pelting them with these cosmic auto attacks right here. That was good. Um I don't really have mana right here, but I, I should, I should. I, I need two Qs to pretty much clear the wave. And with my mana regen, I think I should have enough to clear it by the time, uh, you know, anything happens. His TP is probably going to be up in like uh, 40 seconds-ish, something like that. And let's recall. I love this skin so much. I actually did a review of it on PBE when, I, when it first came on there, but this is live server, so now we're playing it live. And we were able to finish our Imperial Mandate, which is amazing. And for our next item, we're going to be going Cosmic Drive. So since I said Lissandra is mostly a utility CC champion, uh, you want to just get, you know, CDR is one of her favorite stats. So for second item, we're going to go Cosmic Drive. And for third item, that's when the build starts becoming a bit more adaptive. For third, I might go uh, Rabadons. I might go 
Horizon Focus. Horizon Focus actually seems very good on Lissandra. I'm actually thinking about getting that second seal. Uh, that's going to be my third item, if anything. Horizon Focus does so much damage because uh, it works on abilities that immobilize, so it would proc on my W and my ult. And it just gives me a lot of AP, which I like. So I have my Flash now, and we can maybe look to gank him again. My ult's up, and things... Oh, we got Skarner coming in. Yeah, he's dead here. Yep, he's just very dead here. Into the turret with you. Oh my god. Oh my... <laughs> Poor Twisted Fate. Guys, you gotta feel bad for him right there. He literally got a phase rush. Skarner ulted into the turret. You hate to see it. I don't think he needed the Flash there, Skarner. Kind of kind of overkill, but no, we take those. I'm assuming his Flash is up too now. Yeah, it should be. I'm pretty sure in the early or engage, we flash at the same time. So both of our flashes are up. Do we have Rift Herald? Yeah, we do. So we're going to look to take mid turret here. That's what uh, Lissandra is really good at. Lissandra is very good at setting up ganks. So if your jungler just camps your lane, then you're, like, you're very happy. Slowing him right there. Oh, okay. Well, random flash. Okay, lol. <laughs> All right. Sure. Twisted Fate, no flash. My ult's up in 29 seconds. Skarner, you know what to do, friend. That was a very strange ult. Oh, we can go for Karma here. Yeah, I'm gonna flash on Karma. No, she has her flash too. Very sad about that one, that we weren't able to kill her right there. Oh, Senna ult almost got him too. Okay, well that kind of sucks. A little bit unlucky, but at least we traded flashes. It wasn't just me wasting my flash for nothing. Okay, and then I have my teleport up now. I'm probably gonna use my TP for just a good recall. Although I'm a little scared right here. Oh, there, he's getting TP'd on by two people. What the heck? Oh, Malphite too. Bruh, they're bring the whole squad's down there now. Alrighty then. That was literally double TP. Or TP, Twisted Fate R and Malphite TP. So like I said, next item we're going to go Cosmic Drive. But first I'm going to go ahead and get my boots. And then we can afford this, so might as well go this. Uh, you kind of run into a little bit of mana problems with this build. Just because you don't have a... You know that much mana but uh, you have some mana regen i think in the future i might go a tier with this build i think tier would probably be really good yeah in the future i definitely go a tier tier would just kind of like uh make it so i don't have like any mana problems ever and if you watched my last video it was showing off mana Moon ari that build is so much fun i recommend you try it i think mana Moon's actually good on all mages right now honestly does he have ult or am i inting right here Oh, I think I'm inting right here. Oh god. No, I think I'm fine actually. Unless he has ult very soon. He's probably gonna ult me in the face. Or she's gonna kill me here. Someone's killing me right here. Alright, well they are doing ults in the face. Oh my god, they're so low. No, okay, my TP was bad. Okay, it happens. It happens, it happens. Yeah, I thought we would be able to maybe turn that with my TP, but uh, he didn't have ult, so we couldn't sell that for so long. It was a bad TP for my heart part. But, you know, like I just like to say, this is a realistic game, guys. I don't want to just show you games where I go, like, 30 and L. Like, you know, I make mistakes. It happens. But what's important is that we recognize when we make mistakes, right? You know, I could just be like, you know, my team sucks. How did Set lose that fight? Oh, Skarner, why'd you get right there? But, like, nah, it was my TP. I could have prevented that. Still, we're in a pretty decent spot. I really want to kill his CF, though, again and again and again. He's getting Merc Treads now, which makes my life a little bit harder. And by a little bit harder, I mean quite a lot harder, actually. So we want to take advantage of him before he doesn't or finishes that item, which I think he's finishing right now, actually. Um, but in fights, I could just focus any one of these three, and it's fine. But Twisted Fate's going to become kind of a problem, I think. I think that champion is very strong right now, like borderline OP champ right now, TF, especially with Rocket Belt. Like I said a bit earlier. Okay, I have my ult right now. Uh, we're going to go for dragon here. That's a good play. So let's go and rotate and help our team with the dragon after we get the wave crashing. And if we see Skarner, we ult on sight. We UOS him. Ult on sight. We see him, we ult him. I landed it. Oh, he's so low. No, I can't believe he lived right there. This game's so unlucky, honestly. Oh, I don't like this, Skarner. What are we doing here, friend? Yeah, what is this? 
This is this is Intery. This is Clownery and Intery. Okay, I need this buff though. Okay. I don't really like what's going on right here. If I'm going to be completely honest. I actually very much do not like it. All we needed to do with there was get the blue buff, I think. And things would have been fine. Oh my god, she's so low. Oh my god, I stepped into a trap. Oh my god, not like this. Yeah, we didn't really need to go for uh, for that person like at all right there. He went way to him. We're still in an okay spot. We're not going to say yes to the FF, but what the heck. We're fine. I feel like Seth's going to ult this guy pretty soon, though. Yeah. That happened. Let's see what happens over here. Oh, he got his W. Nice. Oh, that was scary. He actually was able to get his W off. Good job, Set. Good job, good job. So second item, Cosmic Drive. Third item, Horizon Focus. And we're going to be doing tons of damage. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, by the way, if, whenever you're watching this video or night or evening or whatever time it is. I've been having so much fun on my stream recently. So thank you everyone who's come out from YouTube on the stream. And if you can't come to the stream, like, don't worry. I love YouTube too. Um, but yeah, I, a lot of people have been coming and being like, oh, I really like your videos. Like, hi, and I get to say hi to everyone. And it's very nice. So if you'd like to come out and, you know, chat live, we'd love to have you. And either way, we'd love to have you here too. Yeah, he's become a bit of a pain in the butt now this game. It's very hard for us to kill Twisted Fate. Just with Merc Treads and the health from Rocket Belt, it's like, uh, we need like three people to kill him. It's not like he can kill us, but we need three people to kill him, you know. Oh, he TP'd. I don't have my TP. He's probably just dead. I'm assuming she's dead. Oh, no, she flashed. Maybe she's okay. It's really good if she lives. She's looking to flash here. Yeah, she's dead now, though. Nice. Oh, wait, maybe we can kill him? Good, uh... That was a really good binding and ult from Morgana. I wonder if I hit him. Okay, cool. Got him. Cool, cool, cool. He's gonna ult, so I'm going to uh, not engage with the Rockman. Rockman bad. Okay, my TP's up in 15. If we had a ward behind Caitlyn right here, I'd really look to go and kill her, but we don't. So yep, we got that one, and let's work now on our Horizon Focus. I feel like I actually haven't had too many mana problems this game, which is weird, because Lissandra's mana costs aren't that low. Like, every Q costs me 80 mana, so I could use, what, like, 13 Qs before I'm out of mana? I can't do math, that's probably wrong. You know, don't clock me on my, my bad math, please. But <laughs> something like that. But it still hasn't felt too bad. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead now and go to the top lane. It's really important as a mid laner, and something that I capped myself doing a lot, to not just autopilot mid lane. So you see right here, Senna's mid lane already. Oh wait, I can help right here. Oh, they stole it actually. It's funny. Well, it's not funny, it's sad, but... Oh, he's going for it. Oh, wow. Oh my god, he actually just played us like a fiddle. Wow. <laughs> that happened. That was like literally free kill. And free thing. That just feels terrible, but you know. It's alright. Oh, he's going to look to ult me, I think, here, probably. Oh, why is he TPing? Uh, okay. This is a little bit of a sus play. Oh, go my Malphite. Go my Malphito. Punch you. <laughs> Malphite just... <laughs> the damage, though. Okay, my quadra kill. Okay, okay, never mind, guys. Me and Set are actually Smurfs, I guess. <laughs> Me and Set actually are just like 1v9, 2v9. We're 1v9 together. That makes absolutely no sense, but oh well. The point still stands. He gets a heart. Alright, let's recall now. And next item is gonna be our. This thingy. Don't sell your pink words at home, kids. 
<laughs> like, you know, when you need the item slot, you don't do it. You see, we love Booty Slapper here. Always perform except when you don't. True. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. I do always perform except when I don't. Uh, let's see. So right now we have 273 AP, 60 ability haste, which is equivalent to almost 40% CDR. I'm pretty sure I could just like one shot her, but let's not risk dying because we have a 600 gold shutdown. And I prefer to not get or lose my 600 gold shutdown for a Caitlyn kill. And also, I yes, I did put on a Santa hat, even though it is the first of December. We're, we're trying to get into you know the festive mood. All right, let's see, Caitlyn. I know you want to step into my trap card. My trap card is over this wall. Okay, no, they're not stepping into my trap card. I get TP here. Does he have W? No, he doesn't. Well, here I am. I'm gonna ult myself here for the slow. Oh God, I think I'm dead though. Oh, that was maybe not good. Engage, I should have waited. I gave a pretty big shutdown right there. Or did I? Yeah, I gave Kha'Zix actually a huge shutdown. That's not very good at all. Okay. I think Morgana is probably fine. Thank God for Spell Shield. She should just be okay. Yeah, no way. She dies right here. Even with the TF ult, she's probably fine. Unless like... Oh, he's trying though. Oh, that was a really good binding. I wonder if it's gonna stop it though. Nice try. He's pretty tanky. I don't know if they could kill him here. All right, I'm on my way, Mr. Skarner. Okay, I'm not on my way. I'm going to get the wave. Uh, it's more important, I think, right now. I keep it up in the CS category and the EXP category. If I go mid lane, I'm sharing with like my whole entire team, and it would not be very good. So I'm gonna go and take the top wave here. And it's better that I go top lane right now. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, good ult. I'm on my way here, friends. Hope we're able to kill him right here, too. That would be nice. Yeah, we should be able to. Imagine that he would TP in front of my face. The Ice Queen herself. Kek W. Alright, well, two of them are dead. Both of their carries, their mid laner, and their, uh, their ADC. They only have their jungler up. I'm a little bit scared about this, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure, unless we kill Kha'Zix, he could actually steal it, because his Q smite does a lot of damage. So, yeah. Um, oh god. Oh god. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even know where he came from, but all I know is we are definitely getting his Anyas now. Ah, uh, he's being a menace, guys. Kha'Zix, he's annoying. He evolved his ult, so his invisibility is like 2 or 3 seconds or something like that. And he has a lot of stacks. I think Malphite missed his ult point blank. Oh no, he didn't ult. Oh, Morgana lives. This Morgana is actually really good. Kill them all. Oh no, he's dead. That Kha'Zix though, I swear, Kha'Zix is so OP. Champion does insane amounts of damage, insane amounts of utility. Like, what doesn't that champion do? Well, I have to go over here, guys. This is either going to be my, my Elsa let it go moment where I kill everyone, or it's going to be my, my uh, you know, flop moment. Let's see what it's going to be. I would love it to be my Elsa let it go moment, but like... Yeah, I feel like this is actually my Elsa let it go moment. Let it go. <laughs> go my ghosts. Oh no. No, she actually got the, the hit off on me. Oh, go for him, go for him. Oh, I would have been so happy. All right, well, you know. It, that happened. Let's see, so this is on an additional 153. This is 83 or 84 seconds movement speed. My Imperial Mandate, guys, this thing seems pretty broken on this champion, not gonna lie. Already 4k damage bonus with no Rylize. 
So definitely, I would say Lissandra is an Imperial Mandate Champion. If you think she goes another Mythic, though, let me know in the comments. Like, I love it. Um, whenever you guys show me, like, different builds that you guys think, I actually read every single comment that is ever written on my channel. Um, like, I really, 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 really do. Like, honestly. So if you leave a comment, like, no, I will read it. It's not like, you know, haha, I read it and I actually don't. Like, I will. So let me know what you think. What is the best build for Lisp? But this seems pretty good. Um, this is giving my other items 30 AP too, which, I mean, honestly, out of all the other Mythic passives, I feel like this one's kind of, like, the worst. Like, 15 extra AP per item, like, I guess it's nice. Kind of, but like, I don't know, to me it feels the weakest. I feel like Magic Pen is the best. But then again, it depends on what you want, right? I guess AP is the most standard. And we actually got our Mountain Soul right there too, I didn't even realize. Pretty good. I have to be careful though, what I don't want is I don't want Kha'Zix to come here and just kill me. Which is why we went an Armor item. We have to stack it though. But Seekers is very OP. Very cheap, lots of armor. Don't know why they buffed this item. Okay. Skin feels very nice to use, by the way. So we have 358 AP with 70 ability haste, which is 41% CDR. And uh, yeah, we're just chilling, kind of. Kind of scared to word right here because I feel like I will die. Okay, we see Kha'Zix, actually. Hopefully she dies right here. Nice. Okay, we got a kill. That's pretty huge. Just any pick we can get. My old cooldown is only like, what? 38 seconds right now so you know we can just pretty much pretty liberally use our ultimates and it's pretty good okay i'm gonna go put a word right here we want to break that banshee's veil that stupid banshee's i hate that item if i take that i'm literally griefing <laughs> if i took that i'd literally instantly just go <laughs> and that means cause accuse me and i die but we also don't really want to group up like this because you know malphite's one ult away from ruining our, all of our careers. Oh wait, dead bug. God, the CC on our team's crazy. I have no idea what happened right there or how we got Kha'Zix, but... Huh. Ha ha ha. I'm not mad about it. Yeah, I, I can just go over here and go for an ult. Okay, give me that kill. Oh god, our Baron damage is pretty terrible though. Might be because, yeah, I think in general our Baron damage is actually pretty bad. Like, Senna doesn't do Baron particularly fast, Lissandra doesn't, Skarner doesn't, Set I don't think does it either really. I'm kind of running out of mana here too, just finish, I think we just finished the Baron here. Although, I guess that's just kind of killing everyone. Oh, we want to just kill him here, I think. Alright, yeah. Thank god. I was actually low-key scared. Oh, he took Smite. That could have been very bad for us. He would have, like, smited that or something. Could have been devastating. So for our last item, I think I'm just going to go ahead and give, or go for a Void Staff. Pretty standard. Give me some Magic Pen. Give me more damage. I want to see if a Booty Slapper will give me this blue buff. I hope he will. No, Booty Slapper. Brood. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, my caps locks was on. Alright, yeah, so we're just gonna go for a Void Staff for our last item here. We need not that much more gold, one more wave. Void Staff actually feels pretty cheap. Did they lower the price of this item? I think they did actually by like 100 gold. If my math is correct, it's like 2500 versus last season's 2600. Okay, we're gonna get our Void Staff, we're full build then, and we are really happy. We have 491 AP with our full build, and we have 70 ability haste, so 41% CDR, with uh, Imperial Mandate doing a ton of damage. Our cool we get movement speed when we land our abilities too. This increasing our damage, which honestly, this thing hasn't increased my damage that much. I don't know whether it's because of, uh, you know, it just is bad, or if it's because um, I haven't fought much with this item after I bought it. Could be either of those things. Oh, he's going in. Wait, why does that seem so busted though? Oh, that's satisfying. Maybe I should have ulted Karma, though. Never mind, we just can kill her like that. That works. 
Dang, I'm kind of, I'm kind of popping off this game, guys. I really like, I feel like I'm not popping off this game, but you know, the score kind of says otherwise. That's all I'm saying. All right, Kazix, I, I literally CBB with you. Cannot be bothered with you, with you stupid bug looking. Actually, I can't be bothered. Get over here, Kazix. Get over here if you want. If you want to fight so badly, then I bet. That's what you get. I didn't even have to ult you. And now look at you, attacking your own turret. And then you explode. Well then. That was a fun game. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and a comment because I love to read all of them. I'm going to show you guys the damage graph as always bef or before we end this video. Um, so let's go do that really quickly. We did the most damage with 29.8k damage. So pretty good. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.